Hey guys, welcome to Mama Tries. Um, I'm Stephanie, and here we kind of do random things that people asked me to try or that I seen somewhere and I want to try it out. So today we're going to be working on an Easter hat. Now, um, not a lot of people wear Easter hats too much anymore. But I, th I slowly see them coming back in style. So I went out to Hobby Lobby and I was able to get a whole mess of different flowers. So I thought of like Eastery kind of colors and I thought this would be really nice. The pink, the white, and like this blue. I also got, um, these are like in where the little dolls are, those little sections. And then I also have ribbon, okay? And I'm going to make a small Easter hat that sits off to the side, okay? Now, you can put clips in it, but as you can see, my hair basically Velcros to this hat. So that's what it is. Um, some of the things that you'll need to do this project is a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, and the time, okay? This one is pretty easy. I've seen it done. I've never actually done it myself, so it'd be nice to actually try this. So you guys are going to go on this journey with me and let's get started. All right, guys. Okay, so I have my hot glue gun on. It's warming up. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of these flowers. Um, we want to go pretty much all the way around, okay? So we want to cut these flowers so that they're at the proper length to go around. That's another project, sorry. Now, if you have wire cutters, they work out a lot better than a pair of scissors, but I don't know where my cutters went. So, yeah, so I don't know where they went. So, this is, oh, here they go. I have wire cutters in this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use every single flower bud from these but I'm going to try to use as much as I possibly can. Now, don't exclude these. These you want to take just right off. Any kind of greenery, it helps with the whole overall design of the hat. So you want to try and keep as much as possible. Okay, now that we have all of these, we're going to take our tag off a little hat, snip it so that way it doesn't break this whole weaving that's going on, and you're going to measure your ribbon. Now, all the while, the hot glue gun is getting warmed up. Now, we are going to crisscross it in the back. That way it looks like that in the back, okay? Just try to get this as tight as you can and measure it out the same. Okay, so there goes my ribbon. Now that my hot glue gun is pretty much warmed up, I'm going to focus on the front of this and where it crisscrosses, okay? Just stuck that there. Now I have my temperature on low so that way I wouldn't burn myself. Um, if you don't have that option, you know, just try to be careful as much as possible and try and get this as straight as possible. I know it's going to be a little tricky, a little hard, but like I say, mama tries, I try, you try, everybody tries. Now you're going to also do it right where you crisscross the two ribbons. I am so glad I have a glass desk because I don't have to have the rubber mats for the glues. It just pops right off and I don't have to worry about my surface. Okay, so now you're going to have strings everywhere from the glue gun and that's okay. We're going to take this and we're going to go around. So try and see where the bend cannot go. 
and where you know the wire will not let you curve anymore and try your best to bring it close don't worry about this excess amount that's back here because it's going to get covered up so that's where i like it so that's where i'm going to glue it and keep going around as much as possible okay and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side so i guess i'm going to be using the smaller ones okay so i'm just going to curve my wire that's in here just so that way it curves with the brim of the hat okay so now it's going to look similar to that just depending on the flowers that you have okay and now glue that down where all the points are the points that touch okay see this is part of the problem that i have a lot of times is I have too much going on my desk. I don't want to use that. Yes. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay, glue the back points. Stick it down properly. Below if need be. and glow, glue the points that meet up. Okay, so this is where we're at. Now we still have the other colors and we also have greenery. So we're gonna just see what looks good where and if we should chomp it down just a bit, like this one I think we're gonna need to cut down. And I think putting these in the back here, messing around with it, putting it in the back here would be nice because that's going to cover that piece. And same with these. So we have two of these, so they can probably go in here. It's always nice to stage before you do anything, glue anything down. And then we'll cut these down so that they can fit nicely in between those two. Okay. So I know more or less that's how it's... Oh, there goes one piece. Monkey toes. Okay. So now I'm going to glue things down so that way I know, okay, that's how it's going to be. That's it. Now I'm going to start blowing from the bottom just so that way I can keep it nice and close. Okay. Another flower fell on the floor. There we go. Monkey toes. Now we're going to go back here and fill in this gap. Okay. We're going to, we already know that these two are going to be off to the side because that's how they're going to sit. And they're going to look similar to that, okay? Now, it's okay that it's a little off center um because we can always add another flower over here without yarn, you know, and we can do it like this. You know, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. We just want to try to get as perfect as possible. And you're going to place these ones in here. So I'm going to do that real quick and get some of these strings off. Okay, so here is the finished result. This is the back. Really cute. And then we have the front. Oh, I got some string and I didn't see it. So when you put it on, 
you would have it tilted. I mean, you could have it squared on your head. I mean, it's up to you. I just think this looks kind of Mary Poppins-ish. And I think this way is very updated. And then you have your hair down really, really nice with your beautiful dress. So I'm actually going to be wearing this um, for Easter. Um, we're not doing something hugely special, but we do like to look nice for Easter. So I'm trying to jump on that bandwagon of bringing these type of hats back. Because I think that looks so pretty. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, you can do a whole different kind of things. You don't have to do exactly like this. You can do just ribbon. Um, if it's, you know, like for Easter, you can put some Easter eggs on there and a bird. Um, you can get a little nest from the floral department of a craft store. I like Hobby Lobby personally, so you can go to Hobby Lobby and get that, or you can go to Walmart, because I know I've seen them before, the little nests, and put the pin on the back of the nest, put the bird in with the eggs and the flowers. All okay, so um, I guess that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more and different types of hats and stuff like that that we can make together, make sure you comment down below and let me know um, that you want to see whatever type. I mean, we can do different kinds. I mean, if you want. So that's it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like this video, share it, share my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I try to post once a week. And yeah, till next time, guys. All right. Bye.